Cruz asks for dry erase markers and an old sock. And so an old sock? It asks for an old sock in his yeah. back to school supply list. Hello and good morning everyone. Today's a big day. Today's a really big day. Every day feels like a big day because I feel like right now in this phase of life we're in, we're doing something big and different that involves the kids and they're growing and it's amazing and wonderful all at the same time. Today, I'm taking Ryler right now to his school. He starts junior high this year. He becomes a teenager in just under two weeks. We're gonna take him to the school. He's gonna find his locker. He's gonna find out what house he's in. I guess at their school, depending on which teacher you have, it depends on what house you're in, kind of like Harry Potter. I think it's kind of cool. He's gotta buy his gym clothes. He'll get his schedule. We got to pay his fees. We've got a lot to do. I'm going to take him today. The other kids have their meet the teacher, have their assessments next week. Figured all of that out while we were standing in line in Disneyland. And today, you guys, we're going to go school supply shopping. We have a lot of school supplies to buy. I don't know what the junior high requires. I'm going to find that out this morning. We got to get all the elementary school supplies. That usually seems to be like a lot. It feels like in junior high, you pay fees. Maybe they take care of all of that stuff. More so, we just cover elementary supplies. So I'll find that out today when I go. I'm going to take Ryla right now. I'll leave you guys here with Brandon and the kids. I'll come back and pick up. We're gonna head off to the store. I don't know if we're gonna do it today, but the kids need new backpacks, socks, shoes. We need all the things to start school, and I feel like I've I've already ordered most of the uniforms. Ryler needs school pants. Still need a couple of pieces, and we're gonna take you guys along with us as we get it all. Okay? It's gonna be an awesome day, and we're excited to take you guys along with us. Okay, you guys, while we were gone, when did Papa do this? Yeah, while we were in Turks and Caicos, Papa came and mowed our lawn, weeded our garden, and fixed Crew's bullet bike. So Crew is out here this morning. First thing, riding this thing, bro. Does it work? Yes, it does work. Let's see what you got, dude. mom back home. All bets are off. My promise to not ride the one wheel expired the day she got back. With crew out here ripping it up and down on the bullet bike. I'm gonna join him on the one wheel. We're gonna get out. What? Oh yes, of, of course, of course. Safety first, guys. Helmet first. Brand new one, by the way. Brand new. I just got back from meeting with his school teachers. What did you guys go do? So we went and like finished up the registering. We bought his gym clothes, bought his school shirts and stuff that he gets to wear. We paid all of his student fees, got his schedule, found his locker. Found his locker, got a layout of his classes. He now has all of his classes right here. Layout of the school, where each of his classes are located. Okay. Junior high is a whole new ball game. This is first year in junior high. It's a lot compared to like the other kids. We take their one sheet of paper from their one teacher and we go and buy their supplies. So today we're going to be doing some back to school supply shopping. And instead, of just getting the one, my guy has every teacher has their own supply list. So mom was looking up the teachers individually, printing out their individual supply list. We need headphones, we need USB drive. Oh, what? all right, okay, all right. I did see some digital literacy in there. Yeah, That's a strange what? class. In third term, I also have photography. Photography, dude, you're gonna be so good at that. Printing out the different supply lists for all of the different teachers, but my guy got his locker, his classes. He's got different classes each term, his homeroom. I mean, we got the whole thing here. I mean, look at how detailed it is, bro. I just forget oh. what a step up junior high is from elementary school this is a big move forward dude yep. this is a big move We are armed with our kids' back to school supply list. And guys, there's, there's a few a lists. We have Casey Bingham, who needs a ruler and a glasses case. Check. But we have Rye Guy's list, all of his teachers. We've got all the kids' teachers. We've got Casey's first ever full time school, first grade school and list. We're going to be back in the afternoon. She's going to be at school until the afternoon. We've got junior high, sixth grade, third Two. grade, and first grade. Yeah, I almost just said one wrong. I almost said sixth <laughs> and fifth. That's I'm what very Ryler impressed, and but I got it, though. Year. I got it. So we're going to head to the store. I think, are we doing Target this year? We're going to Target this year. We we just wanted to shake it up. We've done the Walmart back to school supply haul so many years in a row. I feel like you guys have already seen that from us. So we're gonna go to Target. And I actually have to do a pickup order at Target for <laughs> Hazy shoes and socks for school. So and, and there's Chick-fil-A right nearby, so maybe we can grab some lunch before we get started because we're gonna need our energy yes. for this one. A lot of supplies going down. Let's get them. Let's do it. 
little different back to school supply shopping today. We've I got see over you. <laughs> we've got headphones on the list. I think we've had those once before. Yeah, we actually, had that last yeah, year. that was last year. Once we kind of turned a corner with doing a lot more work on the computers. But wasn't the headphones part of the homeschooling thing or no? Anyway, started. We're starting with headphones today. Fry guy has found the perfect pair, dude. Let me see what they are. Okay, those are going to be money for junior high, dude. Like you'll immediately dude, make so many friends. They totally fit my head and influence people. Oh my gosh, do you know what? I know what's funny? Easy Twenty dollars here at Target. How much were they but at the airport? But if you buy them in the airport, I believe they're thirty-five. That's that airport premium, and you get that premium I know, quality. That's like part of the experience. <laughs> yeah, you got to buy them in an airport. I actually think it'd be really funny if you did these or Spider-Man. You should actually bring these first day just to be funny. I don't want to. Should I? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Everyone got your back to school switch. Back to school switch. Yeah. Oh, that's not a thing. Here's your supply list. Hazy, first grade. Kirby, you have two pages. Yours is sixth grade. Holy sheesh. Holy and sheesh. And Brexy, there's yours. Last Third but not grade. least, the coolest one. <laughs> Guys, it is August 3rd and everything is gone. Binders back here. Five binders, you need five of these. Four. What's nice, bro, is this year you should have a locker so you can store a lot of the stuff in your locker. Yeah. Five? Okay, you got yep. five? Okay. All right, dude, so mechanical pencils. Let's stay away from these because it's two for nine bucks. Down here, you're getting like 50 of them for three bucks. I can't count, I didn't 12. go to school. 12. Why are these more? I like these better. We need 48. How do you divide that by 18? With a calculator, Mindy. 18, 36. <laughs> 50, 89. What comes next? I'm not in school anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's just say we're all grateful that homeschooling is over. They don't have a calculator. <laughs> 12 glue sticks? or do you need like less than that? 12 seems like a lot. Four, okay, so let's find a smaller pack. This one's got six, that's pretty good. These ones are all gone. Wanna get two two packs? One. Get two of those, one, two. two. There you go, four. Okay, you're all set. Two packages of Taekwondo pencils. Taekwondoroga. <laughs> Whatever. Our school is very specific that they want this brand and this type of pencil because they really hold up. They do. They're why? the number one in number two pencils. <laughs> I don't know why it says you need regular size. Oh, good. You need pencils and a pencil sharpener. Rex, you do what you're on the hunt for right now, buddy. A ruler. A ruler, okay, I like that one. This one's fun, it's but it's kind of hard floppy. to like. It's floppy and it's kind of hard to see the numbers. So I would get one you can see clearly. That wow, looks easy to read. And it's floppy, that's cool. Yeah. Four binders, bro. So each class Gotta has get its the own pink. binder. Gotta get that pink. Wait, so hold I got on. So two every... half inch ones and then one, two one inch ones. So each one of your classes requires its own specific binder? I think so. I'm gonna label these like A day and B day, which ones are on that day. So what but... I think you'll probably do too is you'll probably just put them in your locker. Then when you have your class, you I'll go grab that... the binder for that class. Yeah, I'll need that paper to mark them. Like I love it. I need five large glue sticks. Wait, five large? Okay, yeah, that's. In her class, you glue everything. So it's kind of cool because these kids have been through the different teachers. So like, Rexon has a teacher that Crew had. Crew has a teacher that Ryler had. So they've kind of Angle learned the ropes. Get a TA that's really good. Watercolors? Check. So excited for your first grade. Now I just need less white. That's what I just realized. Huh. I don't have like any crayons or anything colorful on this, I guess. Wait, no crayons, dude? What the heck? Hey, glue sticks? I feel like this is junior high, bro. No. I don't feel like you get those arts and crafts things anymore. Yeah. What the? But you got like digital tech stuff this year, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I need calculators. A lot of binders, a lot of papers, calculators. Like, this is the real deal, boo. Yep. I just said bro and dude and it came out boo. This is the real deal, boo. boo. You are my boo, though. <laughs> So I was just over here with Brexy. These are kind of fun because they're like flexible. I'll go clear. Yeah, we found that the colored ones are hard to read the numbers. So if you go clear, you can actually still Where read the numbers. The oh, there was just in there. That's some more. Like, Wait. You don't want a floppy ruler, dude. You need like a protractor and a compass. I don't need either of those. What? Junior high. I do need a USB drive though. USB drive? Okay. Bry guy is looking for composition notebooks or Utah notebooks. I don't understand that. I like don't University of Utah either. or is Utah? It said like World or USA or composition notebook. So it either needs two of one kind or one Utah one. Let's just get two composition because we know what that is. When we're in Utah, does that just mean any notebook is a Utah notebook? College ruled. I remember that. Oh my gosh, is that Lisa Frank? <gasps> What's that? It just takes me back to being a Here's little girl. I'll just get the, all of them. <laughs>
So this cart is getting full. We've kind of let the kids take their own list and then as they go through, mark off what they have. But I had them come to me and I checked off each thing because for instance, one time crew came to me, he's like, I got my pencils. And I was like, those look like pencils, but they're actually pens. So just had to make a few adjustments, but I think they did really good on their own this year. We just have more variety of things because of Rye Guy being in yeah. junior high. We got two lockers. We're getting some locker essentials yeah, in here. So got the little magnetic X. So I think it'll be interesting to see when we go home, we separate them out into each person's thing to make sure we've checked off everything on our list. Who got these? We are home. Mama's laying out the goodies. Are you dividing these up by kid or just like organizing by I'm pens or what? I'm also just making stacks of all the same <laughs> stuff. That makes sense. So this is like a stack of pencils, but then we'll go through and divide into each kid's pile what they'll take on their first day of school. We'll take this before school starts. We usually take it whenever they meet the teacher. To meet the teacher, they'll take this yeah. into class, put it in their lockers if you're a guy or Kruby. Mom's gonna lay it all out on here, and we'll go through, organize it into the different kids and stuff. But guys, quite oh, the what? haul. And I gotta give the kids props. That was a lot of work going through all four kids, finding everything they need for all their classes, all oh, their yeah. teachers. They each handle their own list like champs. It was like a total circus, but I feel like that was just what it's like when you're getting this many school supplies for this many kids. Definitely a circus. We got everything. Still missing one thing of watercolors. That's all. Putting everything together for their back to school list. It's very basic stuff for most of the kids. You know, we've got like crayons and markers and you know, these specific pencils. Lots of that pencils. Our loves. Yeah, Brexit. Talladega Night pencils. It needs 48 pencils. What? They expect them to write a lot, Mindy. Hope so. 48 um, pencils. But you know, lists are fairly simple, except for Ryler, now that he's getting into junior high, we're moving into things like USB drives. drives. Yeah. Whoa, fancy, I know, okay. I know. Always, always donate these to the school. They always ask for like one. Send each kid with Try and double up on that. Big old hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Those are usually on the teacher's wish list. And I'm wondering if these are maybe for the dry erase boards. I don't know. Cruz asks for dry erase markers and an old sock. And so. an old sock? It asks for an old sock in his yeah. back to school supply list. Yeah. That might be a first I've ever I know, seen. It's super simple. So we've got like the rulers. Our kids seem to love these. <laughs> they ones. love the floppy ones. They love That's the floppy That's good though, because I feel like the other ones always have like a sharp metal edge and they're they kind do. of dangerous. They this do. is nice. This is soft. Right guys also got like a calculator. We've got some locker supply oh, stuff in here. Post it. It's kind of funny and it's also a little frustrating when they ask for like one red pen. They don't usually sell yeah. one red pen. You got set or three, yellow though. highlighters. I think crew needed one yellow highlighter, but we bought them a pack of four. Usually in those cases, if other kids need like a random red pen, we'll split it up, but we didn't get like like that this year. It is clear that most back to school lists share a lot of commonalities because when you yes. go into the back to school section, it's totally laid out with everything you need. Like we didn't have to leave that one area, even including these disinfectant wipes, the hand sanitizer, and the tissues. Paper towels, Ziplocs. All Ziplocs, I thought that was so strange that they're sitting there right next to like crayons, but they know they built these sections based off of these lists that are all very similar. We just went to one stop shop back in that little back to school area and got everything we needed. And it was a ton of stuff. It was an entire cart full. I did not expect it to be an entire cart. Oh, I actually <laughs> didn't either. Hazy is the only one that has picked out her backpack, so we still need to take the kids to buy their backpacks, backpacks lunch boxes. Shoes. They haven't had new lunch boxes in a minute. Those ones they're using are from when I went on a trip for Two work to the Nike ago. store at the actual like Nike where Nike headquarters is. That's what they're using for lunch boxes, which they've been great, but they may want to update them. Rye guy's going into junior high. I think he wants a fresh new backpack. The kids need some new kicks. You always need some back to school shoes. Yeah, they definitely because they've need been some worn down. Shoes. Unless they're gonna rock the Crocs. They can't rock the Crocs. They cannot rock the Crocs. Mom's gonna go ahead and continue to pack these up into bags for each kid. Stay tuned for that. Speaking of stay tuned, guys, tomorrow we have scheduled on oh the calendar, it's going down. You're going to get a sneak peek preview walkthrough of our new home in virtual reality. We are actually We're walking so our house. excited. I've never seen anything like this. We don't even know much about it at all, except that they have said that they have built our home in virtual reality. We are heading to their headquarters and we are going to walk through our home, tour our actual home in Yeah, this is going to be wild VR. because our house has never actually been built. It's completely new floor plan. You so can't like go walk through a model because it doesn't exist. So we're going to see it for the first time. You guys are going to see it. I'm going to see if we can record, like screen record the VR walkthrough and yeah, share it with you guys. So cool. Full walkthrough of our new home digitally in VR coming up tomorrow. Do not miss that one. You're going to want to be here for that. It's going to be pretty exciting. After that, of course, like mom said, we got to get some backpacks, some shoes. We got Rye Guys party coming up. A lot of things going on here in the Bingham house to kick off the month of August. It's going to be great, you guys. We love you so much. See you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. How do you divide that by 18? With a calculator, Mindy. 18, 36, 50, 80. What comes next? I'm not in school. <laughs> oh my gosh. One. Get two of those. One. Yeah. Two. There you go. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'll just get the all of them. <laughs> now I just need 
like, and last but not least,